All right, guys, today we are in North Canton. I have not filmed this Kmart since they closed. Signs are down. For lease, signs are up. I'm in the area, so I thought I would stop by here and give it my respects. It's always so crazy and kind of heart-wrenching to see, uh, you know, a store like this closed down. All the signs down, everything empty. You know that you used to actually shop in. I mean, it's one thing to go and and film the ones that I've never shopped in, but the ones that are like just close to me. You know, I live in this area. I've been in this area for, for I don't know, 25, 30 years, <laughs> and uh, so it's just strange. It's strange to see the sign down. He's, you can't even make out anything up there. You know, of course, because you can see where these welding uh, and the bolts are you know they had the sign on a, uh, a different uh, frame I guess um, so there's really no label scar up there but you can see down here we'll go down here in a minute you can see where there used to be like the craftsman and whirlpool signs or whatever uh, probably too much glare to see much over through there but look we can look through here look at that oh my gosh it's just empty and dark, holy crap. I mean, I can see more pressing my face up against the the uh, glass here than you guys can, but like back over here is the layaway sign. That's still up over there. It's always just so crazy to be able to look in the uh, the window here and see one end to the other. You know, nothing in there. There's no racks, there's no carts. Sometimes you see like a lone cart in there. But, uh, you know, the, the layaway sign is still up and that's without the A. <laughs> that's pretty much all I can see from here at least. Um, let's move down here, see if I can see like back that way a little bit more. There's like murder hornets out here. There must be a nest somewhere. Yeah, like I can see clear over to the other wall there, and I believe, yeah, the, the fitting room sign is still up. Oh, I was looking in the wrong place down there. <laughs> the fitting room sign is still up down there. That's all I can see, though, as far as, like, signage on the walls. And there, like I said, there's no carts in there, there's no racks, there's no fixtures, no nothing. Huh, that's just always so crazy to see. All right, so they got a farmer's market that comes in on Wednesdays down there. We're gonna make our way down here so we can see these label scars. And we'll just go around the whole building here. I wonder if there's gonna be any deer out down here. This is the Kmart that, uh, that has all the deer over here in this area. Um, anyways though, so yeah, here's the label scars from like the old Craftsman signs and I think it was Die Hard and Kenmore maybe. I honestly don't remember right offhand. I'd have to go back and look at my old videos. I think they're pretty much all the same at all the Kmarts, but I just don't know for sure. But that's where they were. Look at the parking lot here. Just a big empty parking lot, except for people like chilling under that tree over there having lunch and stuff. <laughs> People park over here and watch the, the deer, and they're not supposed to feed them, but they do. We'll go around the corner here. There's really not a whole lot to see back here, so we'll walk along the fence here, see if we can see any deer. It's really grown up in there right now, but if we look carefully, we might be able to see some. People come over here and they leave Things like apples and food and uh, hay and all kinds of stuff for the deer. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. A lot of times you'll see them like running in a big pack through here. It's pretty cool actually. But I don't see any right now. This whole area is where they run all the way from over here all the way through the woods here down there and around the corner a little bit. I actually did a drone video trying to catch them on the drones 
but like the trees are so high that um, when I saw them, they were just all, uh, they looked like a bunch of ants running. Looks like they're doing something down here, practicing for the, the fire department or something. I think I can still walk through there, but I don't know, we'll see. This is what the back of the Kmart looks like though. Here's the old loading docks. I'll never forget the Super Kmart in New Philadelphia when it was still standing and they had their loading docks. This had all filled with water and frozen in the winter. It was so crazy. So here's the old prison yard, guys. This was the garden center back here. Last time I was here, this thing was filled with carts. I mean, old carts that were rusty and messed up. Yeah, the guys back here working with the uh, the fire department there, they were telling me that they got to do that every year. You know, just kind of pull out, bring out all of their hoses, hook them up to water, and like pressurize them, and uh, test them, make sure they don't have any leaks or anything like that. So I bet that is a grueling process. Nothing but respect. And here's the prison yard. Yep, you can still see the colors and that on the doors over there. Last time I was here, they still had the, um, what do you call it, the, oh, the checkout stuff over there. And like I said, this whole thing was just full of carts. I guess this is where they have their farmer's market now on Wednesdays like right over in this area from what I understand unless they do it out front I don't know but I, honestly I don't know why I think they have it over here <laughs> oh probably just because of this sign right here they probably set up right here but this is where the uh, the garden center sign used to be right up there I probably could have got that when they closed down but you know I'm I'm downsizing to go in the RV so I have to give up any kind of retail collectibles that I have and that uh, that I have the opportunity to obtain kind of sucks <laughs> and a lot of people have been asking me to do like a uh, a collection video you know show off all the stuff that I have and I've got rid of some of it already but I will do that video here soon okay I'm actually kind of surprised to see these here. I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing to realize how long this whole COVID thing has been going on. But I have to say, and I'm not trying to be mean, but look, it comes all the way out to the corner of the building. It's been a long time, guys, since Kmart had a, long, a line that long to the front door, even six feet apart. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Another little label scar up there. I don't remember what that one was. But here it is up here, guys. The big Here it is up here, guys, the big facade. It'll be interesting to see whenever something takes this over if they will uh take that down, if they'll build something else over it to give it a different shape. Um, if they'll just slap their their logo up there on the front, you know, if it'll just be like a big banner or if it'll be legit lettering or whatever. So you can still see where the store closing banner was up there. Hmm. Well, there it is, guys. Had to come down and see it for myself after it's all closed down. No more big K sign. I'm glad that I made a couple of videos here, though, several actually. And uh, I made at least one of my intros here in the big baggy camo pants. <laughs> and uh, if you guys watch my Kmart Why We Care video, the very first clip where I'm standing here like posing with the sign and going like this, and you can see stuff, my shirt blowing in the wind and that, this was the Kmart I used for that. This one right here. Huh. Well, I guess that's it. This is also the first Kmart that I uh, that I droned at. I don't think I've droned at any other Kmarts yet, but I do want to do a couple more. And uh, yeah, that, that was a pretty good video, so watch that one if you have the, uh, 
the chance. All right, guys, that's it. Peace out, Kmart.